Hello and welcome to the latest instalment of the Confex Q&A with myself, Jack Newey, the Event Director of International Confex. Today I'm joined by not only an exhibitor at the show, but one of our partners, uh, Expo360 and Alan. So let's get straight into the questions. So Alan, thank you for joining me here today. Pleasure, Jack. Nice to join you. So why don't we start off with a bit of an overview, which we typically do. So uh, give me an overview of who you are and uh, what Expo360 do. Uh, my name is Alan Tish. I'm the founder and managing director of Expo 360 Limited. Um, Expo, so very basically, Expo 360 is a post-event uh, technology tool that allows exhibitors to carry on using their stand long after the event has finished. Uh, it's placed on, you know, typically the client's website, which is Confex, uh, mm -hmm. and allows everyone in the world to freely walk around the website, uh, the, the event, and visit the stands if they were unable to make the event themselves. And it's also a valuable marketing asset for the exhibition owners who are ultimately our clients. Okay, great. So I, I typically go through the sort of personal journey as well on these calls so people can find out a little bit more about yourself. So um, talk to me about your journey and how you got into events. Yeah, absolutely. So I, uh, straight from university, um, I spent the first 10 years of my career in television, television mm -hmm. production. So I worked for, uh, BBC Look North as cameraman and director, um, Sky Sports, ITV, uh, and then I went on to two years at Liverpool Football Club Television. Um, yeah, which, I'm a, a big supporter, so that, that you, you are, you, yeah. I mean, it was like 2007, 2010, so it's you know Rafa Benitez and Gerard mm -hmm. and, and Torres yeah. and his pomp. So I mean, yeah, I got to film and talk about football all day, and they paid me. It was unbelievable. <laughs> um, then, and then I sat on my own video production company in 2013, ten, just sort of celebrated my 10 year anniversary on that, uh, and that's still going uh, to this day. Um, but I saw uh, a gap in the market in about 2018, where I'm very much pro sort of looking at new technology, and I saw that the virtual tours uh, was coming to the forefront, and I saw it very much as an add-on to video. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, one of my clients was uh, ex exhibiting at a large exhibition. He had a huge stand. Uh, and I said to him, I hope you don't mind me asking, but you know, how, how much was the whole thing? And, it, and, he, and he pointed out six figures. Uh, and I said, so what happens after the three day event? And he went, oh, it's just, it's all dismantled and, and we go home and hopefully we've got some leads. And it blew my mind that they were spending all this money on that, just these three days and they couldn't carry yeah. on using the stand. So I sort of, put two and two together with the virtual tour exhibition. Uh, and it was all set to, I was all set to launch Expo 360 in 2020. And obviously COVID happened, but I think that was mm -hmm. a blessing uh, because I don't think the technology was quite there yet. Um, so yeah, and here we are, 2023 is uh, I launched Expo 360. So you took that time to improve the product and, and make it better for when you're ready for launch. That's great. Um, so we've, we've got the basics and um, talk me through the, the nuts and bolts for uh, a lot of our and visitors may have never seen the system before. They may not be aware of how it all works. So how does it work? So yes, we uh, we capture a real world digital twin of the entire event. So we go in with a, a specialist camera overnight between days one and two, and we go around and capture the entire event, every single stand. Uh, we have our own customized overlay into that technology uh, that allows us, to, uh, the people viewing it, uh, easy navigation around it, so if they quickly want to find a stand or if they want to browse a certain category, uh, and it will also enable them to do such things as watch the seminars on a Netflix screen in the seminar area and also interact with the stands to find out more information about them. And that's this, the whole model of the entire Confex event at the Excel will be placed on the Confex website for, for a global mm -hmm. audience. Great. So. I think it's important to sort of talk through the benefits. I mean, give me some personal experience on this. So for me, I see it as sort of twofold. The the first instance is um, for us, obviously we want to keep, our, like you say, the, the show's two days. And um, obviously you have your build up days, but after that, um, yes, we can mark it out to people, but the, the exhibition itself is, is no longer there. So it's great for visitors to use as a tool to um, go back on. Uh, they can go and find people that they may have missed at the show. It's a way of engaging because there's lots of ways we can use it for holding content and things like that. So for me, it's extending that model outside of the, the typical two days of the show. It's bringing it into the sort of more 365 model, which a lot of um, 
uh, exhibition organisers are trying to do so that they can capture their audience all year round, keep them engaged, which is great. And I also see on the other side as well, it's quite beneficial for exhibitors to have um, like a reference of what their stand looked like to, uh, at a show. Like I said, it, it plays into that as well. If someone saw you at the show, they can't. We get calls all the time from people saying, "I saw someone at the show. I can't remember what the company name was," and they describe what the stand looked like. And um, half the time, we can't remember what the stand it looked like exactly. So having that model on there and having that visual um, engagement of what the show was like, I think is a really useful tool for both the exhibitors and for visitors as well. What What are the other benefits for for people looking to to have their show filmed in this way? Yeah, I mean, you've hit the nail on the head there. It's, it's maximising the investment on in their stand, which obviously benefits, you know, the exhibition owners because mm. it makes them more attractive knowing that the exhibition stands have got this digital legacy uh, for 365-day marketing after their stand's yeah. finished. But for yeah, the exa- and you've hit the nail on the head there. I mean, even if you spend all day, all two days there, you, you, you get to speak to 10, maybe 20% of the stands. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know... You've got a bag full of uh, cards and, and bumps and all, and all that, and, and ultimately you can't remember who, what, or oh, I remember that standard. I get to see. You've got you can at your own leisure. You can go around, but then obviously there's a global audience mm. that would love to come to London on the 28th and 29th of February, but they can't make it. They can't afford yeah. to make it. They're, you know, and there's also the, the sustainability element. Of they don't have to fly into the country and stuff like that. So it's all there, for, you know, for and. Um, the massive benefit is twofold. It's for the exhibition owners that they've got this great marketing tool that ultimately mm-hmm. they want to maximise the benefit to their this year's exhibitors, but also use it to sell next year's event, which is always yeah. which is always key. And then the exhibitors yeah, have got the legacy of their stand, so they can continue using that to to market to the global audience. Yeah, definitely. And I think even when um, an exhibition organisers will definitely know what this is like when you're trying to sell like a pavilion package or something that was quite visual on site, but um, you don't have those visuals to really get across to people on a call. It's great to be able to relate back and show them what the what the area was like, what were the pods were like within that. So, um, so yeah, I think it can be definitely a useful tool in that way. Um, so let's go to a funny question. I always throw in a funny one in these interviews to, um, to really spice things up. So what obviously you're filming on site <laughs> exhibitions are, are quite a, a wild place at times um what what's the craziest thing you've seen when you've been filming on someone's stand or something that was just completely out there when you've gone in after the show's closed to, to film for the next the next day which i think the hardest thing for us is obviously we're filming overnight so you know these these huge venues mm. security is is tight so yeah. if you're just getting in them is is you know is that is the thing and then obviously what people don't see is the absolutely army of cleaners yeah. that make it spick and span so we have to navigate around that so obviously no one's captured in shot we can get in there and um you know as much as we say to the uh, ex- exhibitors keep your stand nice and nice and tidy mm-hmm. quite often uh, and with our cameras everything is captured so we often have to move water bottles <laughs> and, then, and then it takes a long time into the early hours so uh, red bull uh, other energy drinks are available, but Red Bull is, uh, is, is very much needed on the night. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Um, so we've got Convex coming up, really exciting. So obviously you guys are going to be filming there, so um, a lot of our exhibitors can expect um, to be in touch with you guys soon if they want to get booked in to be filmed, which is great. Um, what else can people expect from you guys at the show? You guys are obviously exhibiting as well. So so what can people expect from Expo 360 at Convex? Yeah, so we're, um, yeah, as I say, we're exhibiting, we're at stand ETL4. Um, my business partner is, is with me called Carl Timms. He is actually doing a seminar at 11 a.m. on the first day entitled The Post-Event Missed Marketing Opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's definitely worth watching. And we also have a touchscreen on our stand so people can come to us and, you know, touch and have a play around with, with our technology to see how it yeah. all works. Excellent. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to Convex. I hope you are too. Where can people find out a little bit more about Expo 360? Yeah, come to see an overview of our company at our website, expo360.io. Um, hopefully there's a link below, which is mm-hmm. our partnership agreement uh, announcement um, on the newsletter. So that will give a lot more details as well. Brilliant. Looking forward to Convex. I'll see you there, Alan. Cheers, Jack. See you there. Thanks, everyone.